Hello everybody and welcome to episode number four of the Dad Bod Vlog. Week two of training and I just want to kick things off by saying uh, Marathon, how are we going to sign up for it? It's a topic for discussion really isn't it? You know, anyone, if you know me you can get in touch on Instagram. Um, I'm at Bert Fabulous on Twitter. Uh, you've got me Strava in the link below. Uh, yeah, you know, let, let's try to book up a conversation about this because I got thinking, you know, I've signed up for the St. Helens 10K and, you know, as much as I'm looking forward to it, let's be honest, it's not going to be as good doing it virtually and uploading your results to TDL, is it? You know, it, you know, nothing's as good as crossing the finish line at the Totally Wicked Stadium with about a thousand people there, you know, cheering the family on and, you know, that's what we, that's what I want anyway, I want my family there, I want my kids to be there and the missus. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of struggling because I want to get signed up for it, but you know, I don't want to sign up for one and then there'll be one a week or two later where everybody could go to, you know, restrictions and all that. Um, and I'm still a bit like that, what I'm going to do about uh, sponsorships and which charity to run it for. I'm not sure, yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, if anyone's got any advice or an opinion on it, you know, get in touch, let me know, comment. Um, yeah, I watched uh, the Kevin Sinfield 7-7 seven and seven the other day. A man, like, I'm watching these marathons and I'm thinking, this guy has a freak, you know, but it makes me want to go, wow, let, you know, let's get, get stuck in. I, I, want, I want to be able to, you know, run a, a marathon, never mind, seven in seven days, you know what I mean? I might, I might never run a marathon again after this, to truth be told, but yeah. Big shout out to Kevin. It was a bit, a bit late on. It was over Christmas when he did it, but yeah, I only just watched the um, the, the documentary that the, I think it was the Leeds Rhinos put on YouTube about it. Amazing, absolutely incredible. Yeah. So yeah, this is my week. Uh, Monday I went out. For, it was five miles. Absolutely freezing cold. Uh, Wednesday, ten k. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Not run a ten k since probably October, which is absolutely. For me, used to run 10Ks on a Friday after work for fun, before I went to do the school run. So yeah, it just makes you a bit depressed that you know, I've let myself go a long way. But then again, on Friday, I ran the same three and a half mile I did with my sister. Uh, the run that inspired me to make this channel where I was absolutely blowing out my backside and I was walking it. Um, managed to get me time averaging just under nine minutes a mile, which I was really, really happy about, to be honest with you, because, you know, it's what we like, you know, dead down and depressed because I lost it one day, and then the next day, it's coming back, you can see results, progress, and that's what's awesome about running, uh, yeah, so yeah, this is my week, uh, catch you on the bricks. Monday, the 8th of Feb, just got back from a nine hour shift, been out since half past six this morning. It's now five o'clock. Last thing I'll do is go running. Um, oh yeah, gotta get it done, haven't we? Bad influence, Bertie. I'll see you later, pal. That's been more than a lot, Bertie. Oh, I tell you what, it's absolutely Baltic. It's snowy. It's windy. Ah, oh, there's got to be, this is crap this, but this is what we do, got to get through it, I just wish I'd have kept my beard, because my face is freezing, feels like I'm having little knives chucked to my face, holy mackerel! Until the kids are off school, absolutely kicks the weed around here. Ooh, that felt good, five miles. 10k on Wednesday, see you then. York's always.
Bah. Coming up on quarter past six. Just starting work. 10k later when I finish. I should be on about three o'clock. Yeah. Four, minus three. Crap that. Absolutely bout it, every Wednesday, 10k. Let's get it done, mate. Yup. Right in on Blackrock Field. We spent many a year ripping it in on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Steps it back to when I was a young fit with a snapper. Oh, nah. Well, it's been. I'm not gonna run my sister's house. Hit it, leg it! Back on the half bar block. About four miles into me. First thing I've done since about October. And I'm enjoying it. But I'm finding it hard. I'm trying to zoom off, but that's not what I'm trying to achieve. I want to keep a nice, steady, consistent pace. But I'm not really sure. Um, but that's how it's a good thing to do, isn't it? Because obviously, running a marathon, you're not going to zoom, are you? I want to try and keep like a steady nine and a half minute race pace. So, let me know. We're doing good or I'm doing bad. 10k down, about 58 minutes, which, yeah, I'll take that. I just want to keep up the, uh, what do you call it, like the consistent pacing. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, Next this also be on Friday. That's it. Nice one, it's Friday morning, half past nine. I'm gonna do just a short three and a half mile run this morning. Um, I've got a day off today, so hopefully um, it's nice and bright. I normally miss this running. Of the, yeah, I don't really run in these conditions, so I'm happy, but it's still absolutely frazzing. The gates on chain lane, mate. We'll be back in here. After marathon day, sinking a few Guinness. Well, I really enjoyed that. That was good. Yeah. I just wish I'd done that 10k on like this morning now, because like I said, we're going off to run out in conditions like that. It was good. Seen some birds. The treating kind, not the morning kind. Uh, but yeah, I was really had a spring in my step today because I've seen my daughter for the first time since like uh, New Year because of COVID, obviously. But yeah, can't wait. See you soon, Jess. Right, so there you have it, there was my week in a, in a nutshell, which was, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Just before I go, uh, I need to make a massive shout out for Jessica for letting me borrow her camera, and to little Neve for lending me her light to make these videos look a little bit better. It comes to something when uh, the kiddies have got better equipment than my phone, but you know, this is 2021. Yeah, so... Yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, at Bert Fabulous. I'll put it down here if I can, if I figure out how to do it. Um, yeah, I think, I think I've covered everything I wanted to for this week. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next cartoon, guys. Thanks for watching.